Welcome to this lecture of on phase plane analysis for nonlinear systems. We have already done phase plane analysis for linear systems. Uh, we have understood the concept and now we are going to apply this technique to draw the phase portrait of a typical nonlinear system. So the nonlinear system example that we are taking, I have already taken the snapshot from the book of the phase portrait. There are two phase portraits here as you can see. and there are two examples actually. So it's an example of a pendulum with friction. Uh, the equations are given by this x1 dot is equal to x2 and x2 dot is equal to minus sine x1. x1 is the displacement of the pendulum, x2 is the velocity of the pendulum. The other example of is of the pendulum with friction. The equations are given here. So the equations are x1 dot is equal to x2 here and x2 dot is equal to minus 0 0.5 uh, x2 minus sin x1 and this is the term which is basically incorporating the effect of the friction because it's the term that is proportional to the velocity. So now let us first uh, draw the phase portrait for the pendulum uh, for the first set of equations where you have pendulum with friction. Okay. So uh, as as you remember, as you remember uh, the phase portrait is drawn by taking the slope and equating it, it to some constant dx2 by dx1 is equal to alpha which would be given by if you look at the first equation you have dx2 by dt is given by this and dx1 by d, dt is given by this so you can divide the two, two equations so you get minus sine x1 divided by x2 so, so the equation of the isocline would be given by this here. So an isocline with the slope alpha would be given by alpha x2 plus sine x1 is equal to 0. So this is the equation of the isocline. Now let us uh, see whether we can draw this for different values of alpha. What is the what is the equation of the isocline for different values of alpha? So uh, for a value of alpha is equal to 2, which corresponds to an angle of tan inverse alpha. So alpha is the slope, so the angle uh, is equal to tan inverse alpha, which corresponds to an angle of tan inverse alpha is equal to 0. The equation of the isocline would be sin x1 is equal to 0, which means that x1 is equal to 0 or pi or 2 pi. So what does this mean? This means that this means that the isocline x1 is equal to 0 intersects intersects the phase portrait phase trajectory or phase portrait if it is a number of trajectory at a slope alpha equal to 0 or at an angle tan inverse alpha is equal to 0. That means if, 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 we, if, if we are drawing the phase portrait like this and this is our x2, this is our x1, then our x1 equal to 0 line is this line, right? And here the phase portrait is going to intersect it at alpha is equal to 0, at tan inverse alpha is equal to 0 degree. So that means it is going to intersect this like this. So this is what it actually means. Now let us take another example. What is going to happen if alpha is infinity? That means what is going to happen if what what is the line at which isocline which intersects the phase portrait at 90 degrees, right? So when alpha is infinity, you can you can always do some manipulation of this basic equation. What you can do is you can write x2, you can divide by alpha, and you can say x2 by alpha plus sine x1 by alpha equal to 0 uh, sorry this when you divide by alpha you don't have this alpha here <laughs> so this means x2 plus say some beta sine x1 equal to 0 uh, so when so when alpha tends to infinity beta will tend to 0 which means that for alpha is equal to infinity, 
the equation for the isocline is x2 equal to 0. So equation for the isocline for alpha is equal to infinity is x2 is equal to 0. And which means that this line, which what is the x2 is equal to 0 line? This, this x1 axis is the x2 is equal to 0 line. So uh, this line is intersected, um, the face portrait intersects this line at 90 degrees because the slope is 90 degrees so the so the face portrait would intersect this line like this right okay uh, take some other example let us let us take an example simpler example so let us take so the basic equation of the isoc line is alpha x2 plus sine x1 is equal to 0 let us take alpha is equal to 1 which means that the slope tan inverse alpha is equal to 45 degrees and this line if you put alpha is equal to 1 in the equation for the isoc line here you'll get x2 is equal to minus sine x1 similarly you can take a slope of alpha is equal to minus 1 which gives you tan inverse alpha is equal to minus 45 degrees and the equation for the isoc line would be x2 is equal to sine x1 now let us consolidate these results here in a table and draw the isoc lines. So you have different values of alpha. The first value of alpha that we took was alpha is equal to 0. And the equation for the isoc line equation, the equation for the isoc line for alpha is equal to 0, we got was x1 is equal to 0. This is one of the equations. And for alpha is equal to infinity, the equation that we got was x2 is equal to 0. For alpha is equal to 45 sorry for alpha is equal to infinity yes for alpha is equal to alpha is equal to infinity for alpha is equal to 1 the equation that we got was x2 is equal to minus sine x1 and for alpha is equal to minus 1 the equation that we got was x2 is equal to sine x1 and these alphas correspond to actually angles which are tan inverse alpha which are 0 degrees 90 degrees 45 degrees and minus 45 degrees okay now let us draw the isoc line so so this is this is our phase plane this is our x2 this is our x1 right and and the first the first equation uh, the first uh, entry in the table shows that for for x1 is equal to 0 for x1 is equal to 0 the intersection of the phase trajectory with the isoc line is at 0 degree so that means and this is x1 is equal to 0 line the x2 axis on this axis x1 is 0 so the intersection would be at 90 degrees so our so our cuts would be like so this, this is how the phase trajectory is going to cut this line in a similar way for for an angle of 90 degrees an angle of 90 degrees the isoc line would be x2 is equal to 0 so this is the uh, 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 x2 is equal to 0 line and the phase put the phase trajectories are going to cut it at 90 degrees so it's going to be like this this is 90 degree slope and for <coughs> for x2 is equal to minus sine x1 the angle at which the phase trajectory would cut this would be 45 degrees. So minus sine x1 is going to be uh, minus sine theta would be something like this, right? So this is minus sine x and this would be cut at 45 degrees, right? So 45 degrees slope is this. So you can make this slope like this. 45 degree angle is this, right? And for the last one, minus 45 degrees, this is sine x1. And the cut is going to be minus 40. So minus 45 line is this. So this is the minus 45 line. Now, if you look closely and if you have drawn enough isoc lines, you'll be able to see that you, when you join these, you, you should, you're getting something very similar to, right? And oh well, okay, let me draw this again. Sorry. You get something very, very, very similar to 
an oval shape right so see look at this this is what you're doing you're cutting this at 90 cutting this at zero you're cutting you have to cut this at 45 degrees i did not cut this well and you have to cut this at uh, minus 45 degrees it's going to be something like this Okay. And you can also find the direction. Uh, the direction in this case, like we did in the in the linear case, is going to be, as you see from the face portrait, is going to be clockwise. Okay. So this is what has been drawn in the book, right? And the, the author has drawn a number of isoclines, and you can see very clearly that when you draw enough isoclines he has drawn it for a number of slopes a slope um, uh, of half one by three one by four so on and so forth and when you draw a number of isoclines you should be able to get a decent result so this this shows uh, continuous oscillations and it's a marginally stable system and that is expected because the pendulum without friction is going to continue to uh, to oscillate uh, without stop. Okay. Now the same example you can extend to to the case where you have you have friction, right? So when you have friction, the equations are slightly different. The equations, as you saw here, uh, are given by by this set x1 dot is equal to x2 let me write the equation there x1 dot is equal to x2 this is pendulum with friction and x2 dot x2 dot is equal to minus 0 0.5 x2 minus 5 This is pendulum with friction. Okay. Now again, the same method applies. You find the slope dx2 by dx1. You obtain by dividing the two equations. You get minus 0 0.5 x2 minus sine x1 divided by x2. And you equate this slope to alpha. And when you do that, you get the equation for the isoclinic. from here when you put alpha is equal to minus 0 0.5 this term becomes 0 so you can bring this term to this side you get sine x1 is equal to 0 just like we did previously and that gives you x1 is equal to minus x1 is equal to 0 for a value of alpha is equal to infinity you get for a value of alpha is equal to infinity you get on the right hand side will be 0 so you get x2 is equal to a value of alpha is equal to plus 0 0.5 on the right hand side you get minus 1 divided by 1 so, you, so the equation of the acid line will be x2 minus sine x1 for a value of alpha is equal to plus 1 you get x2 equal to minus 1 divided by 1.5 sine For a value of alpha is equal to alpha is equal to minus one, you get x two is equal to minus one divided by minus zero point five sine x one, which is twice. So for these different values of alpha, these different values of alpha. Uh, 
uh, these are the equations for the isocline. And the next step would be to draw these isoclines and draw the phase portrait after we draw the isoclines. Okay, so let us now draw phase portrait for this. So we let us start with uh, uh, x2 is equal to 0, right? At which uh, the angle at which it the phase portrait is going to cut this line is going to be 90 degrees. So x2 is equal to 0 line is is the x1 axis and the x1 axis would be cut by the phase portrait at 90 degrees, right? So it's going to be like this. Now the next line uh, is the x1 is equal to 0 line x1 is equal to 0 line would be cut at tan inverse minus 0 0.5 which is uh, approximately minus 26 degrees so the x1 is equal to 0 line which is the x2 axis is going to be cut at approximately 26 degrees minus 26 degrees so you can draw uh, lines like this okay then let us come to the next isocline which corresponds to uh, tan inverse 0 0.5 and angle of plus 26 degrees and this is x2 is equal to minus sine x1 so x2 is equal to minus sine x1 is going to be something like this x2 is equal to minus sine x1 and this is going to be cut as plus uh, plus 26 degrees plus 26 degrees would would be similar to something like this right an angle of plus 26 degrees would be roughly this much so it's like this right and then we have alpha is equal to plus one line which is an angle of tan inverse alpha which means an angle of 45 degrees so this is going to be minus 2 by 3 sine x1 so again the same one uh, sine with a reduced amplitude with a reduced amplitude means uh, 2 by 3 means roughly 66% uh, of this so let us assume that we are drawing it like uh, this one the smaller curve here and this smaller curve is going to be cut at 45 degrees so so you have this 45 degree cut here for the smaller curve right so this is the 45 degree cut and then the last line is twice sine x1 and for this you have a tan inverse an angle of tan inverse alpha which is minus 45 degrees it's a twice amplitude twice amplitude sinusoidal curve means it's going to be something like this right and the angle is 45 degrees minus 45 degrees so the angle is minus 45 degrees it's like this so this is just an approximate diagram uh, I hope that it is it seems to be clear that you know the the trajectory is something like it's it's going it's converging very fast here and then it's going like this see it's, it seems to be like this if you look at the directions right so this is actually the phase trajectory for this uh, and see it's 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 converging to zero right if you draw many isoclines it'd be clearer that it's converging to zero right so this means it's a stable system the uh, the zero is a stable equilibrium point and uh, the oscillations will finally die out and that's natural because it's it's a pendulum with friction uh, friction is a part of the equations for the pendulum so i hope it is clear uh, but i think you 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 need to do this exercise yourself 
and draw as many as your clients as possible and sketch the directions and uh, you should be able to visualize a decent face portrait from this to conclude this portion of the unit there's one more thing that i would like to say and that's uh, the concept of singular points singular points normally uh, your phase trajectories will not meet your phase trajectories will not meet because because uh, the slope is unique uh, for single valued functions uh, you have basically dx2 by dx1 is equal to f2 x1 comma x2 divided by f1 x1 comma x2 and f2 and f1 are normally single valued functions right so this implies that at a fixed point at a fixed point in the phase plane in the phase plane the slope the slope has a fixed value has a fixed unique value right and when this happens it actually means because f2 would have a unique value at x1 x2 which is and f1 would have a unique value so the slope would have a unique value this implies that the phase trajectories will not intersect the phase trajectories will not intersect normally right but what happens is uh, is that for 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 equilibrium points right for equilibrium points we know that uh, x2 dot has to be zero x1 dot has to be zero which implies that dx2 by dx1 is zero by zero it's indeterminate right so at 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 such points because the value is value of the slope is singular uh, equilibrium points are called singular points equilibrium points are called singular points in the phase plane in the phase plane and the phase trajectories the phase trajectories would intersect at such points many of them would intersect at such points right so that is all about uh, face portraits uh, thank you for listening